everybody. So this last palette that I picked up had quite a bit of networking kind of stuff, uh, mostly Cisco. This is the Cisco 2900 series. Got some weight to it. So let's see what we're dealing with. I haven't done one of these yet, so I'm probably going to take off screws that I don't need to. Like that. <laughs> Let's see, are you staying this? Nope. You are feroce. That, uh, let's go ahead and pull that. AC power supply. Okay. Well, just a pinless power supply. There's gold fingers here. I'm going to see if I can get those easily. Not gold fingers, gold plugs. Um, otherwise, that's just going to get sold as a power unit with no cord, which is the way I usually sell them anyway. Got a bunch of fans on this side. And. This says interface cards. And that battery's done. So we have a nice card there. ICs, flat packs. There's a tiny little gold corner BGA. Here, let me get it closer for y'all. So a little gold corner BGA, flat pack, ICs, jumpers, little some small ICs, two gold-edged oscillators. So that's a nice little card there. Some MLCCs, nice chunky ones on the back here. Cisco's always got some some nice stuff, so I always enjoy taking Cisco's apart. I think these may be blank covers. Yeah. Yeah, these are just blank covers. So, let's uh, go ahead and see what else we got in here. Now, sometimes the lid will come off without taking the side brackets, and sometimes you have to take the side brackets off. Yeah, we'll see. Nice heavy lid. Wow. That is a nice looking board there. We're going to look underneath of these heat exchangers, these aluminum heat sinks, and see what kind of boards we got underneath there, or chips. But there's some gold cornered BGAs, a lot of MLCCs, big chunky MLCCs. All right, let's see what we got going here.
Hmm. Hmm. Don't see any more screws. I wonder if it's these little ones here. Let's see. That is a nut, so I know there's going to be some sort of screw head on the other side of it, but that would not be the issue. Something. Oh, maybe it was just, it just needed a little leverage. I hate when I have to wrestle these things like this. It should just come right out. I don't see another screw, but it just doesn't want to cooperate. Well, I don't think this is it, but I'm going to take this bracket off. Just, just to make sure. Sometimes these bracket screws are also used to, to hold the stuff in place. No, it's a front panel screw. At least I think it is. Could be completely wrong here. We'll find out. You come out. Nope, that wasn't it either. You know that it's just a, I'm, I'm missing a screw somewhere or something. Okay, so it was the something. <laughs> oh man. Very nice board here. We've got a card in here. Oh, I've had these before. 256 megabyte, like flash memory cards here. Let's get the screwdriver out of the way. 
So a little flash memory cards here. Compact flash. Okay. Now then. Um, gold pins inside of here. ICs, gold corner BGA. Let's pop these off and see what we got underneath of those. And uh, ICs all over. Um, BGAs all over the place. And not much on the back. Some little things, a couple MLCCs. All right. Oh, and some gold plated pins here. If you, you know, you can chisel that off pretty easy and get yourself a whole bunch of little gold plated pins. Come on, BC. Out we go. Aluminum heat sink was hiding a nice big BGA. Gold corner BGA. What are you hiding? Another gold corner BGA. So, uh, you know. Board sort is going to take this as some sort of telecom kind of board. What I have to ask myself is, do I am I going to have enough telecoms? Do I want to hang on to this until I have enough telecoms to make it worth shipping? Or do I depopulate and sell it to my yard? I might get away with the high grade to my yard. So this is always a balancing act that I have to play because I have to ship to board sort. Some folks that live close enough can just drive, so for them, it's a much easier uh, uh, set of calculus for them. Uh, but for me, I have to do a little bit of math and check the prices and decide which way to go. Anyway, nice stuff here on this particular one. We gotta get this battery off. Let's get that done right away. No matter who we get it, send it to, that battery has to come off. And we'll set that aside take to the transfer station all right so uh, this pin will have to come off too because nobody whether it's my yard or board sort wants to pay for that oh, oops this one There's a whole rack of fans. And each fan has four screws. So we'll get those unscrewed, put those with the motors, small motors. And then we've got, this is now just an empty shell. Oh, wait a minute, back plane board. I think that's this way. Nice back, back plane board here. There we go.
Okay, so there's a backplane board. Board sort has a category for backplane boards. If your yard doesn't, then this is probably going to go mid-grade for your for most yards. Because there's a lot of gold pins and stuff on here. So even though there's no circuitry, there's a lot of gold connector pins. So most yards would take that as a mid-grade. Although, you know, some yards would make you know make noise about it and force you to put it in with the low-grade bucket. Because they just don't realize how much gold is on it. And that's a chunk of aluminum. It was a guide pin. All right, that's our Cisco 2900 series. That was a fun scrap. Let's see what's next. If you enjoyed watching me take this Cisco 2900 series apart, go ahead and hit that thumbs up button. Don't forget to subscribe, the little red button down in the right there. And make sure you tell your friends about it so they can enjoy the shark as well. I've got some more videos on e-waste scrapping, so we're going to have a link pop up here and take you to that playlist so that you can enjoy seeing more of the e-waste scrap that I get to play with. All right, everybody, have a great day.